hello guys welcome back to the channel in today's tutorial i'll be sharing with you how to draft a mono strap um princess bossy so guys let's get started so guys i've already drafted my basic bodies i mean the neckline and the hammer is already on my pattern paper and what i'll just be doing next is to just label it so from my shoulder to the under bust is 14 inches Shoulder to the waistline is 16 and a half inches. Shoulder to the bust point is 10 inches. And the shoulder to the chest line is 8 inches. So guys, the next thing I'll just be doing is to place my dart measurement. So the dart measurement is 3 and a half. And I'll be placing that across all my lines. So the next thing is that on the waistline, before I draw a straight line, on the waistline I'll be going in by half of an inch on both sides. And I'll be connecting that half of an inch towards the bust point on both sides so i'll just be drawing a straight line to my boss points on both sides so this is what i'll be doing guys so afterward the next thing i'll be doing is that i will be placing the side that which is going down from the boss point to two inches and i'll be drawing a straight line to the front that so the next thing i'll be doing is that i'll be measuring my arm o just like that and i'll be going down by half of the arm o so for me it is four inches and i'll be drawing a straight line to meet the post point like so afterward i will go down by one and a half inches towards the you know inner arm hole. so the next thing you want to do is to go out by one and a half inches extra so you go out by one and a half inches at that particular point and you make a curve towards the post point please note it should be a curve and it should be you don't want them to have anything like a pointiness or any sharp curve towards the post point especially so i'll just be you know is that use your curve you can use your free hand you just ensure that it is curve not pointed so the next you want to do is that from the both side of of the under bust that you just want to go out by one inches on both side of the under bust that that's already there and at the waistline you just want to go out by half of an inch on both sides so the one the next thing you want to do is just to make a you know a slightly curved line towards the under bust like that you don't want any sharp end guys seriously you don't want any sharp end and from the under bust you want to make a curve towards your post point just the way i'm showing so just the way i'm showing it you just have to smooth it because one thing you don't want to have on your post is sharp end because it's just going to mess it up so towards the center just follow the way i'm just trying to show you the way i'm coughing it you can see that it's not totally round and as well it's not straight just to ensure that we don't have any sharp end towards our bust point so i'm just going ahead to just smooth everything out and the next thing i'll be doing is to just use your cough through to just shape it you know making a new arm hole so the next thing i'll just go ahead to do is to place my measurements which is the waist measurements i will not add any allowance here guys i'm not going to add any allowance and i'll just draw a straight line like that so i'm not adding any allowance not no allowance at all on this particular dry um, paper pattern so the next thing is for you to replicate everything back on the other side if you have a tracing wheel you can use it to trace it out but for me i just you know follow the pen i'm having and just make it like this because as you can see it is a mono strap so once you cannot use just as it is folded to make your mono strap so you want it to you know you want to open it up first so guys this is it i'm just trying to put in everything out like i um explained earlier so i'm just trying to put in everything 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 out so you guys that's what i'm just trying to do here so for this other side too i'm making a new arm o um ensuring that i don't have any sharp curve and that is it so this parts are the parts that i'll be cutting out so i'm just you know crossing the line so that i'll know that those parts are no longer useful for me so the next thing is for me to just cut it out you can see the way i'm showing like i'm cutting it out so guys don't forget that there's no additional allowance on this pattern paper there's no any allowance on this pattern paper don't forget that 
so guys the one thing the next thing i'll be doing is to slash that part open you know the dart to the boss point and decide that i'll be cutting the slanted parts like i'm just doing and i will ensure that i don't cut it don't cut it off don't cut it totally off so you want to close up the side that like you just want to close up your side that so here i'm just placing my waist measurement because i forgot to add it earlier so guys i'm just closing up my side that just like that this is the side that so okay so just cut it out like that and i'll use my tape to secure it down i'll do the same thing for the other side and i'll be using my tape to secure my that i don't know what's wrong with my camera it seems there is a glitch these guys help me manage it like that so i'm not so sure it seems it's kind of breaking i don't know maybe it's my eyes or is the camera i don't know so the next thing to do so guys the next thing we'll be doing is to fold in the bust i mean the on armhole that's so you want to fold in your ammo that you will see the way i'll be showing it now you want to fold in the ammo that and secure it down with your tape i hope you understand what i'm saying you fold in your ammo that just the way i'm showing like that you fold it in to meet that line you understand you fold in the ammo that and you secure it with your tape this is a very like a brilliant method because for a mono strap you want everything to be balanced you want everything to be straight you don't want to have any you know the um the shoulder line to be you know coming up or anything so the next thing is for us to work with the neckline you decide which side you want to cut off and decide you want to have your um sleeve so for me i'm picking this particular side and you just want to smooth in your arm o to meet your neckline so here you can decide if you want your neckline to be wider if you want it to be you know to go up if you want it to come down for me i'm using six inches that's why i just tried to change it i was like okay let me just go down by six inches like to you know not to make it to be too 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 up neck you understand and i'm using my free hand to just you know connect it to the ammo so here i'm just using my cloth to smooth everything out you grab so that everything will be sitting on on my neck perfectly so guys the trailer you are done with your pattern dancing for the front you are done with the pattern dancing for the front the next thing for you to just you know cut it but please i want you to pay attention to the way i'll be cutting it out please pay a very good attention to the way i'll be cutting it out so as not to make any mistake you understand yeah so i will start cutting from the neck so i'm cutting out my neckline like so and for the bustier parts um you just want to you know you know because of the way we fold it in you just make sure that your line is straight and everything is you know is straight together you just use your um, ruler to straight it out and you cut it like so don't forget this is without any allowance and for the arm o, make sure that your arm o is also like cough you use your cough or anything or if you had to just cough it out perfectly and you want to just cut it out this arm is very small but don't worry when we had our allowance it to become big and for the bustier part you can see the way i'm cutting it like you cut out the inner part to the center you cut out the other side also to the center and because we already joined the um we already joined the arm o um line you just want to slash that line on that particular line you just open it like that and voila we have our princess monostral booster so here i'm just trying to mark i mean the points of where everything is going and i'll be writing the allowances i will be needing for all the side so towards the center like this i'll be adding half of an inch allowance so towards the um side i'll be adding two and a half inches that i took out from the underboss plus one and a half inches sewing allowance i'll be adding it towards the down part i'll be adding 0.5 inches for the stitching the neckline i'll be adding the 0.5 um, inches but towards the side don't forget 
the allowance you took off that part you took off you measure it and my own was 2.5 from that under bust so 2.5 plus the sewing allowance you want to add to your account for me it is um i added 1.5 so 2.5 plus 1.5 will give us four inches so to the side i added four inches and to other places i'll be adding just um half of an inch for the sewing like just to sew down the dart that's half of an inch so guys this is it i want to mark my um this is the back one thing you want to make sure for the back is that the length of the back will be two inches minus the length of the front don't forget that we took half um you, we took in two inches of the dart from the front we took in two inches from the side so you want it to be rhyme so instead of drawing 16 inches like i did for the front i'll be drawing out um i'll be removing um two inches out of it so i'll be cutting out 14 and half inches so the next thing i'll just be doing is just to mark out a normal princess princess that's just the normal princess that you know taking half of an inch on both sides you know connecting it to half of your armhole coming out by one and a half inches all the thing we did to the front but without that bustier thing of a thing so the next thing i'll be doing is to place my front to the back like this because i want to be sure of the neck so don't forget when you're placing your um this thing like um, the front on your back you want to flip it over so that the right side will be facing each other you understand right side it should be facing each other so i'm marking where my neckline and how my neckline should look like as you can see i've not added any um zipper allowance to the back it's still on foot i need to be sure of the neckline before i would go ahead and you know when i want to cut my clothes i will ensure that i had my two one and a half inches right i had it one and a, one and a half inches for the um for the zipper allowance i hope you guys understand if you don't understand anything or you have any question you can post any question on, on to the comment section i'll be available to just answer everything so here i'm just using the fonts to just you know mark where the ammo everything will be so that you want everything to be right you want the front and the back to be the same thing you don't want some one place to be shorter than one you understand what i'm saying so guys this is it guys this is it basically this is it i'll just you know go ahead and cut out my back like so i'll go ahead and cut out my back so so basically guys nothing much for the um for the back but one thing you just want to make sure is because of the side that that we took away from the front bossy you want to remove it from your back because naturally our back is shorter than our front our front have the bust if you mark everything together with the bust it definitely will be kind of longer than the back that is just flat so that is the essence of removing that two inches as side that so guys so guys basically that's the add part of it and here i'm just you know i'm just trying to arrange everything and make sure that all my um all my measurement is okay everything is perfect and um i forgot to mark the waist measurement so that's what i'm trying to achieve here so i'm just placing my tape rule don't forget this is without the sewing and stitching allowance so this is that stitching allowance so that's when i'm cutting into my fabric i'll ensure that i cut out i mean i mark out the stitching allowance because you know if you forget the stitching allowance to it <laughs> yeah you're not actually making any bossy you <laughs> it will be smaller than your size definitely so, so guys we've come to the end of this tutorial if you have not subscribed be sure you subscribe to my channel like comment and share and i'll see you guys in my next video bye